Welcome to Massive! Today we are playing God of War Ascension and this is part 13 of our video walkthrough. If you guys enjoy this series, please do not forget to leave a like or comment or subscribe, either one of those things. It really helps me out a lot and I really appreciate that. But um, yeah, we're in a puzzle room right now. Oh shit, I forgot about this. Oh, what the? Okay. We're in a puzzle room right now and we gotta figure this stuff out, so help me along here. Leave a comment if you know what to do. Never mind, that'll be too late. Uh, yeah, let's just figure this thing out. So, first thing I want to do is uh, collect any secrets we possibly can. Don't know how to do that. Oh, oh, here we go. What does this do? Okay, that raises that door. Raises it permanently. Oh, it gets stuck, I see. So, it's in here. A health chest, which I desperately need, and a switch. That switch activates the mist because it sets a fire under the woman's crotch. That door you can't go in, I guess. Okay, so let's uh, let's take the drug and see what happens. <laughs> oh, it cracks the time glass, and it lowers the pendulum thing, and it creates a shining little white piece of dust. Let's see what the shiny little white piece of dust does. Okay, it makes Kratos pull something down angrily. And he climbs up here. And then we're back to the beautiful fucking environment of God of War. Hmm. Oh! Okay, there we go. We made it. So, what does this do? You can pull with them. Oh, that's cool. Go, Kratos! Nice. Well, wow, I didn't know Kratos was that heavy. There's steps on that, and the thing lowers. Either that or the twig little robot arms can't support it. Okay, so I, I'm guessing we gotta put something on top of that time glass. Or something. What's this? Aletheia, the Oracle of Delphi. With the amulet of Euroboros and Delphi's sacred mist, the Oracle guides our path with divine truth and wisdom. She's pretty. They like young and they like pretty. So, if only there were sexy women laying there. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, what's this? What the f- Wait, what? Uh, I pressed R1. And it just disappeared. Yeah, we got another switch over here, and that activates the door. And lowers the ladder and activates that mist. Okay. I think it's starting to become clear to me in what we have to do. Hmm. Hold R1, and we got red orbs. I'm gonna open this door. See what's through here. Oh, locked door. This door cannot be opened. Well, shit. Red orbs. Guess we're gonna see what that mist does. Okay, we can't lift that. You know what? There was something down there that we could push on top of the hourglass, but the thing is we can't get it up here. Unfortunately, we cannot get it up here. Locked door, this door cannot be opened. What's in this room? Then we're going to check out the mist. We got red orbs, and maybe we could use this thing like, like an elevator to bring the bring, bring the statue up, you know? For now... Oh, shit. I think I've got an idea. But first, I'm going to destroy this crack. Door. Okay. I'm going to switch to fire. And wait until this goes back up, and I'm gonna see if my plan works. Okay, so what you guys want to do? You want to breathe the mist in. I'm <laughs> gonna go down here and fuck. Be attacked. That's not part of the plan. Okay. Oh shit! Yeah! Get mad, Kratos. They wouldn't like you when you're angry. Nice. 
Look at that shit. Wait, what are these things? They are... Birds, but... Oh, bare-breasted women. Sexy. And... Come on. Come on. Lift off! Beat down! Ferris wheel Kratos. But it's time to test our theory. Uh, wait, what's that anything down there? No. It's time to test our theory. Okay, we're gonna move this over to the hot plate. And... Okay. Now we're gonna go up the ladder. Which we couldn't before. Well, we could before, but we had to use the thing to stand on. However, that wouldn't work with what we're currently trying to do. Because it wouldn't be in the right place, so... <laughs> Take a good breath of the... <laughs> Slow-mo drug, and... Push this up here. Climb on top very quickly. Let's see if it works. When it rebuilds it, it brings it up. Yeah. Okay, my theory does work. Now we just drag it with us. Bring the big old creepy... Oh, can't bring it with us that way. If only there's like a, a way to push it. Like really fast. Oh, maybe... I, it looks like I was going faster there. God damn it. I don't want to go in slow-mo here. Okay. So we move it... Down here. Oh, I hope I didn't make a mistake. Because that would really suck. Come on, Kratos, push it faster. Oh, it's saving. That's how you know you're doing the right thing. You know, I think we know I think I know what we have to do. There's a little notch right there, did you see that? And it looks like the perfect thing to put here. Wait. Maybe I was supposed to put it here. Opens the door! Great! Okay, that's what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to open this door over here. And inside of this, we got chess. Fuck yeah! What's this? A memorandum from the Prophet Kestor. The Oracle Alethea is receiving divine vision and is not to be disturbed. All seekers and their offerings must be shown only to the Prophet. This guy's running a fucking Ponzi scheme. I don't think I care for him. What do we got? Oh, two phoenix feathers. Oh, Kratos is doing a back backflip. He's flipping back on his back. Oh, shit. Okay. I wish I could go into the area, though, that I, I fucked up, you know? Where I was supposed to go through one door, but I didn't. Yep, he fits perfectly in that notch, so let's take the drug. <laughs> And it's gonna lower the pendulum, and we can jump on the pendulum in time to break it. Okay, let's do this shit. So, jump, jump, and... Come on, Kratos. Oh, fuck. Alright, grab the ladies by the heads, and... Yeah! We broke it! Nice, look at that sand pouring out. Good thing it's still heavy enough. And down into the depths of Moria, we descend. The Oracle's Chamber. Place your offerings for Elethia. We will decide if they're worthy at our will. I offer nothing. You presume to seek audience with the Oracle, and yet you bring no offerings? Bold. Stupid, but bold. Although... You must have good reason to seek the Oracle, carrying such a mark. Return when you have brought... Nice breasts. Sacrifice. I have come to see the Oracle, and that is what I intend to do. I would have liked to hear your story, warrior. It is a shame you fail to see reason. Remove him. <laughs> oh, you serious? You didn't sack Kratos? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I have to find a better slave trader. Oh fuck! It's Total Recall up in this thing. Shit, he's the prophet of Total Recall. I just like him too. Oh, he's an ugly son of a bitch and he made himself young. Tolerate your impudence. You will not see her. Oh fuck, Kratos. 
Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh god. Whoa, jump, 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 jump. Okay, there. Oh shit. No, Kratos. Come on. You can do this. You can do this against that ugly we son of a bitch. Fuck, but doesn't it just, I mean, you guys, tell me if I'm wrong, but doesn't he look just like the guy from Total Recall? Come on, Qu oh no, Quaid! Uh, well, thank you guys for watching part 13, I think, of our God of War Ascension video walkthrough. If you guys enjoyed or found this helpful, be sure to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. Or just one of those things, I, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you next time, where we kill Caster, the fucking Ponzi scheme prophet. Uh, take care.